Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a weekly reading from the 31st of July through to the 6th of August 2023. We're going to do the sound just to tune into the energy. You can join me if you like. Okay, I'm going to take a breath in. And exhale. Okay, Gemini. Let us see what the week is bringing you. It will be a brief message, okay? I'm going to do a Celtic, not Celtic cross, no. I'm going to do a cross of truth. And we'll maybe get some clarifiers as well. Just see what's happening, what sort of energies are supporting you and surrounding you this week. I like the first week of August. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Didn't you have some sort of exposure coming to light recently? Hmm. Gemini, cross the truth, please. Current energy, the Empress. A lot of people have been getting this energy, which is beautiful. Weird, because uh, Empress is uh, Venus, and I believe Venus has gone in, in retrograde now. The Desire, the Chariot. Yes. Charging forward, forging ahead. What's working in your favor is a three of swords. It's the best place for that, that kind of card to turn up, by the way. And what's working against you is temperance. Okay, now already we have, <laughs> out of four cards, we've got three major arcanas. And the outcome is the queen of wands. Beautiful energy. Okay, I'm just going to clarify these uh, quickly. Um... But I do feel that like this is a strong week. Well, it's definitely a strong week for you, Gemini, because we've got so many major arcanas, okay? But there's definitely this feeling of enough is enough. I think you're using your pain, your suffering, and you're rising up. You're not taking anything anymore. You're not, you're not taking any bull crap anymore, okay? So these are the things that are kind of firing you up and... Um, making you a little bit uh, powerful. Powerful wasn't the word I want to say. Obviously powerful with that Queen of Wands. But I don't think you are mincing your words this week. You are not tempering yourself. You're not kind of... You're not even allowing things to flow this week. No, you are taking charge this week. And the beautiful thing about that is because within your deep level of self, you know you're right about something. You know you're right. You feel. It's, it's a question of morals. It's a question of moral standing. And a question of a, an element of justice as well. Okay? So you are ready to forge ahead. Regardless of what anyone says. I don't think anyone's going to want to mess with you this week. Okay. The same order. Under the Empress we've got the Four of... Uh, Pentacles, the Magician, the Two of Wands, under the Chariot, I might not show you all the cards because it just wastes time, but under the Chariot we've got the Four of Cups, King of Cups, Hermit, under uh, the Three of Swords we have Empress again, nice, Queen of Wands again, okay, I'll have to show you those ones, and the Eight of Cups, yep, you're no longer putting up with it, and um, Temperance we have Nine of Wands, the Fool, and the uh, yeah, and the Seven of Wands. And under the Queen of Wands, we have the High Priestess, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups. Gemini, pretty strong week for you. Okay. So within the Empress, where I feel, I feel like you've got a little trick up your sleeve. And this is not in any sort of kind of dishonest, uh, deceitful way at all. But I feel like you are just keeping your cards very close to your chest because you are in a very strong manifestation mode as you start off the week, okay? You know what you're capable of. You know that if you apply yourself, you can make stuff happen. And it feels like it all comes from a place of love. It comes from the heart space where you are very concerned. I often get this for you, Gemini. Sometimes for Libra, but I think with you I get this a lot of this kind of this moral standing 
this um, almost like justice within humanity, within society. I get that really strong with your readings uh, recently. It's bizarre. I mean, I love it. But I feel like you've kept a little bit of information close to your chest because you've been in a bit of, it's like you went into your shell a bit, you went into your heart space a bit, and now you're grabbing the tools necessary to move things up to the next level. And the desire here with the chariot is to basically um, charge forward and almost what I'm sort of getting with the Four of Cups, that King of Cups and the Hermit energy, feels like you're charging it forward and you're just going to work it out as it comes. Like, work it out as you go along, okay? This is not a kind of pentacle energy in terms of, oh, I'm going to plan everything out, I'm going to strategize, I'm going to sort of really methodically kind of move forward. No, 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 no. This is you kind of going, you know what? I'll figure it out as I go along. Now that can be in a relationship, in a business, in a wanting to expose something, whatever the case may be. But I do feel like you're not allowing yourself, you're not allowing your, excuse me, your brain to negatively project a bad outcome. Because the minute we kind of, sometimes when we think about things too much, it, um, we end up not doing anything at all, right? And I feel like you're not doing that this week. You're like, mm -mm, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, work it out as we go along, right? What's working in your power here is a three of swords, okay? Um, and it's clarified, but there's two amazing cards we also have in your reading, which is the Empress of the Queen of Wands, and now we have the Eight of Cups, okay? So what's working in your power here is both that energy of where you feel moral justice, where you feel that you need to stand up and protect somebody, protect a group of people, a community, or yourself, okay? And in order to stand up from it, you need to walk away, right? It's like I'm no longer putting, I'm no longer buying into this, I'm no longer putting up with this. Um, that's actually working very much in your power because I feel like you're being noticed this week. People kind of going, whoa, Gemini, that was risky, but very positive outcome. What's not helping you in the situation is that. Because of this heartache, with the, with the three of swords, because of the heaviness of the situation, and it feels a lot work-related, I have to admit, I feel like you're not even ready to have a new beginning. You're not really re you don't feel like it's even worth your, your effort to try and justify your actions, explain yourself. You're not, um, you've just, you've, you've been beat down and you've had enough, so now you want to move forward. It's, it's kind of that simple. And I think you're keeping it that simple this week. The outcome is a queen of uh, wands who says, I've got my fire, baby, don't mess with me. I know what it is I want. It's for the highest good for myself and those who I love. And I'm not going to put up any shit, Okay. It's clarified by the High Priestess, ten of, ten of Cups and Page of Cups, okay? So it's weird, because even though people might be looking at you, Gemini, kind of going like, whoa, Gemini, where did this fire come from, you know? You normally um, looking at all sides of the picture, you normally analyzing, you normally kind of evidencing, all of that sort of stuff, not this week, mm -mm -mm. you're like, no, this is where it's at. And I'm standing up for my family, for my emotional happiness, for my fulfillment. For my, I feel like I've got a bit of an attitude as well. <laughs> but it's, it's nice, you know. But really what I'm really liking about this card, these two cards in particular, is the Queen of Wands holds a fire in the end with a high priestess, okay. One's a kind of a very masculine energy, one is a quite a feminine energy. But both really harness the sense of spirit. Now, fire is spirit, your passion, your drive, okay? High Priestess is a spirit, okay? She kind of uh, suspends herself between um, the spiritual realm and the physical realm, okay? So I feel like you're pulling in this information, and it's almost as if you may, it, it, you're definitely going against your normal grain this week, and I think it's going to serve you very well, okay? You've got a lovely offer coming in as well that's going to support and help the home life. Um, but the High Priestess, I feel like you being charged up, you've been kind of almost like called from spirit. Call, cool. you have this weird calling this week that's just pulling you in a particular direction of like standing up for something, okay? And you're not going to back down, okay? And I feel like it's bigger than you. Like it's, it is you, but it's bigger than you. And you are like the representative for it. So it's amazing, Gemini. This is, this is amazing. 
So that's what I have for you. I hope it helped. Um, if you did like this video, please give me a like. It really helps my channel to grow and basically lets me know if I should continue doing these videos because it does take a lot of time. Um, so do let me know. Please give me a like or subscribe. It's totally free. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.